Hello everybody, this is Drew Nailer. Previously, uh, in Wind Waker, we um, got into Dragon, Dragon Roof's Cavern. If we actually bring up the map, it shows us the location. So, last time I kind of got confused saying this is our first dungeon. Our first mini dungeon. This is actually our first technical dun- first actual dungeon with a boss at the end that we can fight. And plus, it's the first one that we can use our sword throughout the entirety of it. At least as far as I know. Uh, down here, as you can see, these things are water pots. These are not. Um, I think that audio sounding funny is actually from the, uh... See, it splashes water all over. I think that's actually from the, um, volcano trying to erupt. So... We also got in here at the very end of last episode, we got a key. Now we're going to use it. And in here, we see that there's some pots over here. Oh, we also got a bottle last time. I wonder who actually came up with the Pots are Link's mortal em enemy joke. Or if that's just a general Nintendo fan... Thing. Over here. Can't go over there. These skulls, you can break them with your sword. And I wasted that 20 rupees. Oops. Yeah, still not used to the Wind Waker um, camera controls again. But down here, there's a box. Push the R button, walk up to it, push the R button. And then pull it out. And now we push A to climb, and then jump right over here. And then wait for the, oh, keys. I'm just gonna jump it right now, there we go, yeah. Um, oh, the camera is fast, ho oh, oh, oh. Um, if you aren't careful, there will be a, um, lava eruption like that that blocks your path over um, where I said that we couldn't quite go yet. In here, a lot of water pots. Grab this one. I want to throw it over there. Um, and just be very careful. Oops. Um, okay. Now just be very careful on um, over here that you don't fall in the lava. I'm actually going to try to do that again and see if I can jump over. Hmm. It's really strange how it did that last time. Whoops. Now in here is the dungeon map or the um, compass. I don't know which one this is. Okay, yeah, dungeon map. Some people actually don't use dungeon maps. I might have already said this. Oh, there it goes. Some, I might have already said this, but it's just very... Okay. Very strange that some people don't use the dungeon map. See, there we go. There's the dungeon map. This is a pretty easy dungeon. It looks pretty big. It's actually quite easy. I mean, I understand for speedruns why you wouldn't want to use the dungeon map, but this is going to push me off, isn't it? Ha! Ha! Joke's on you, choo-choo. Oop. There we go. And now we get our... I kind of wanted... did want to attack it. Because we get red chew jelly. Keep in your spoils bag. What this says if you, um... If you get 15 of them, you can go to the chew shop brewer... Br the potion brewery place. And, um... He'll make you a red potion. Oh. Can't remember what these are. Oops. 
they're that one enemy that I said in episode 9 that I can't really remember right now. And then here there's some hearts and a rupee. Okay. Um, but you actually take the sword and um, just kind of use it. You have to actually, um, come here. You can actually pick up the sword and use it. Uh, this was, this returned in, uh, Skyward Sword at one point. I'm not really going to spoil the point at which you, oh, nice, small key. At which point you can pick up weapons. But it returned in full force in more choo choos. In um, Breath of the Wild, where you have to do it. I mean, there's some there's some really amazing weapons in Breath of the Wild. Um, it's just kind of fun going around. Um, hmm. Like the iron or the soldier's broadsword, I think is a really good. Um, is one of the really good. Oops, weapons. Uh, I hope I don't really know how to get these. Do I use a rock? Hmm. Oops. Well, didn't mean to do that. I wonder. Ah, uh, you can't. Okay, never mind. I really can't figure out how to get these, um, bomb flowers to explode. I mean, I played Wind Waker a long time ago. I guess I have to use these pots. How? Come on, pull myself back up. Okay, do I have to use... I know there's an easy way to do this. Oh, there we go. That's what you do. I hope that blows up the rock over there. No. Ugh. Oh, really? I hope that kept me alive long enough for the rock to blow up. Nope. Okay, there we go. Got it. Perfect. And we only lost less than a heart. Wow, that's... I did great. Oh wait, that's the... Ah, so that's the thing that we come back through here for. And then we go out this door. Oh, I remember now. Bokoblins, that's what those things are called. Some more choo-choos. Ooh, um, a thing. I never know what these things are called. The, um, chew jelly was actually more useful to me right there than, um, anything else. Right over here is nowhere we can go. But we can go in here. Oh, Bokoblin, okay. Come on, let me attack you, please. Thank you. Oh, you're not done yet. Okay, come on. For some... I don't know why they don't let you finish them off right then. I noticed that before, and it's just weird. Now, where's their weapon? Now, where's their weapon? Oh. Oh, Boko Stick. Okay. We light this. Catch that on fire. Throw it. 
step on this switch and then it'll open the window or the door. And that lets us go outside, but it's extremely dangerous outside. That audio still has trouble. Hey, Bokoblin. We're not even, oops. Can I not walk past you? Seriously? Okay. That's one way to get past you. What? I've never seen a Bokoblin go. I've never seen a Bokoblin um, hang on the edge like that. Yeah, it doesn't even pay attention to me. I mean, come on. I know you're not very smart, but seriously? Huh. I don't know really what this thing is, what that bird is. There we go, we got a golden feather. Remember that one Rito who said that his girlfriend likes those? Or wants those? Yeah, you gotta give quite a bit to him. It's not very, it's not very rare. I mean, sure, you only get like 20, 30 through the entire game, but it's not as rare as you would think it is. I mean, with the name of Golden Feather, you would think that it's um, a lot more rare than it is. And like it would, if it was like a Mario game, you would expect, um, uh, actually, if, if it was pretty much any other game in general, can I go off here? Yeah, I can jump off here. Um, you would expect Golden Feather, uh, <laughs> Link just kind of disappeared there. You would expect them to be like, from golden colored enemies. I'll meet you back there. Whoa, th there we go. That's a bridge skip. I'm sure, I'm sure that's um, bridge cobbling skip. I'm sure somebody else has already come up with that term, but hey, I came up with it too in case people would like to know about it. So I set up um, in stock notifications for the uh, Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo. And maybe I can get another golden feather from this. And um, oops. And yeah, you can, I guess. And, um, Walmart. Right now, Walmart apparently has it in stock, but, um, but it's, uh, it says there's three in stock, but it's out of stock, which is not how it's supposed to work. I have no clue why it says that. I gotta defeat this guy first. <laughs> um, attack buffering, I'll take it. Yeah, but you would expect it to be like a golden bird or something. Whatever those birds are, I can't remember. Get back down, Link. This is how I you died last time. Do you really want to do that again? No? Okay. Well, let's, let's just do this. I'm sure you can just roll off the edge and jump up there. But there's a bomb flower up there. And it didn't reach. Hmm. Pick it back up. There we go. There's a door there, whoa. 
Uh, okay. Roll. <laughs> kind of stopped in front of that spot there. Okay. In this room is a big block puzzle. Now, I don't really know what's up here. Is there anything special up here? Rats. Rats. What? Not having problems. Oh yeah, he's, oops. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to attack rats. Wait, where's this go? No! Yeah, just rats. Oh wait. Yeah, just rats. They're not just rats when they can steal your money from you. Ugh. Okay, there's something down here. Can't entirely remember what it is, though. I completely mess messed that up. I'll try to get up in here. Ugh. Oops, I died. <laughs> ah, this will reset the room. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you actually have to do this. In that way, you crouch down, go into first person mode, and get some money. And I think this goes around. Hmm, that's actually pretty nice. Didn't even know that was in there. I mean, I, I knew it was in there. Yep. <laughs> Can't do that. I knew that was in there, but I didn't really ever use it, if you understand what I mean. Never really used that because I've never had any need to. Yes, I know these are rats. I don't care. They're mean. They stole my money. Let's actually open this. Oops, my feet are burning. My feet are burning. My feet are burning. Hurry, hurry, text box. My feet are burning. My feet are burning. There we go. Whoops. Oops. Ah, it's down there. I don't care. Just get me out of this room. This is, oh, a small key. We actually had to get in here. I don't like rats. Just get me out of this room. Uh, at least I can defeat them now, though, with a sword. Okay. Oh, this looks quite nice. Oh, wait, it wasn't gonna do something I thought it was gonna do. Whoa, you popped into position. I. Okay, whoops. I don't know why I said that like that, but... I'm really low on health. Please be a heart. Yes, you are. 
I know, I'm pretty sure that everybody who does Zelda Let's Plays, I'm not even gonna try to bother with that enemy again. Pretty sure everybody who does Zelda Let's Plays, um, has said that at least once. Like, please be a heart, please be a heart. Oh, good, you're a heart. Okay, what's in here? Oh, look, keys. There we go. Okay. Where is the... Oh, now the chest is burning. It's good I got that item out of there. Well, it was still not burnt. Now we actually light this. Burn this down. That's where we came from. And then we can keep going. There we go. Whoa, it's in my face. Okay. That probably wouldn't be too good for the camera if the camera was actually real. Um. Oh. There's a bomb. Oh, no. Really? See, in wind, because of Wind Waker, I got used to, um, there we go, used to small explosions for bombs. You actually don't have to jump in there for the warp pot to activate. In Breath of the Wild, the, ac the explosions are huge even before you upgrade the bombs. It's like, whoa, so I have to run away really far just to not get caught in the explosion. Ooh, challenge room. Easy peasy. Let me go around this room trying to find all the enemies. There we go, you're just kind of sitting down. Boom. I guess we can collect the joy pendant so that we can get that item faster or sooner. Oh, that's actually an item. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a rock. One of these are going to have an enemy in it. Nope. One of these over here are going to have an enemy in it. Nope. Okay, these have to have an enemy. No, they don't. But this one does. No, it doesn't. Let me roll into the wall. What? There we go. There's another enemy. Taking so long, hitboxes just keep giving issues. I think we're. Yeah, might as well just kind of get that joy pen. Oh, as you can see on the bottom, there's like a treasure chest right here icon. Treasure chest icon right there. And there's our treasure chest for this room. Yeah, Wind Waker's hitboxes aren't the greatest sometimes. But now that we've got a treasure chart, I'm actually going to um, stop this episode here and then um, and then continue on in episode, it's going to be episode 12 probably. I think this is a good place to stop. So we're going to continue on in the dungeon next time. Goodbye for now.